Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Writer. What I want to cover in this module is how you can create a simple chart in Writer and also how you can copy and paste a chart from Calc into Writer. So first of all, a simple chart. On the ribbon at the top there, you've got the Insert tab and then just here on the left you've got Chart as an option. You click on that it will drop the default unformatted chart on the screen and it will also activate this little toolbar which gives you all the options that you should need to format this chart now normally i would just say to people if you want to format this chart just double click on the area that you want to format and it comes up with the relevant area so you've got borders area transparency etc so just close that off uh, double click on the bar the same sort of thing comes up but it's for the bar now talking about the data series and if i double click on the legend there the same thing comes up for the legend so it's quite easy to format a chart now if you want to see the data table so you can actually change this you need to click on to this option data table and you get the columns and rows that are default now I'm going to just put some information in these columns, so if I just put men, women, children, those are the column headings, and if I just move this out of the way, you can see that that's already appeared on the chart itself. Now the row labels, if I just put some years in there, 2019 say, Coming down, 2020, 21, and 22. So that's quite simple to fill this in. And if I close it down just at this point, you can see that the chart itself is now reflecting that information. If I go back into there, if you need to add extra rows, you've got tools up here, insert row, insert series etc etc and you can delete row so I'll just um, insert a row put it there so that should have been 2018 and this is going to be 2019 and then you'll have to put some figures in these because this is just the default stuff like so close that off and then you get the the extra year in there 2018 all the way along now to format the thing the chart area I've just said earlier that you can just double click on it if I double click on this it gives me the option of borders if I want to change the border of the chart area the area then you've got no area color so it gives you an option for a color so I'll just pick a color and just click OK to that which is pretty gross so I'll just quickly get off that one gradient We've got different gradient options you can select and then different types some of these will be okay others not just leave that like that click okay right, not as bad double click and you've got image so you can actually bring an image into the background of the chart so to do that you need to have it on your computer obviously add and then i've got some waterloo images so I'll just pick that one okay now it comes in default as tiled let's have a look at what that looks like so that looks okay to be honest if I go back into it stretched let's have a look at that one okay that's stretched now that tiled will norm tiled will normally comes in like little tiles and it didn't do it on this option but so that might just be a little fault so I normally do have to change it from Okay, that might change it. Let's have a look. No, it still kept it the same, so it still looks okay. But normally that would have to be changed to stretch. So I'll put that. I'll put it on stretch just in case it decides to change itself. Now, there's the image. You've got a pattern option. These are just different patterns. Not really of much use for a background of a chart. More to do with the bars. If you want to do the bars, if I just click OK to that. That's not great looking. To so go back and put the image on, and 
Let's go back, add another image, a different one. Let's see if I can get that hash thing. Let's go for that one. Get the, um, there you go, look, that's tiled. If I click OK to that, that's what I was expecting on the other one. So that's where you would then go and change that to stretch. If I go back into it, put that back onto stretch. So you get just one picture across the background, like that, which is OK. So that's using an image. Now you can also put an image in these columns the bars but you can also add data labels if i right click on these you've got some options in here that you can actually add things insert data labels just puts a data label on that bar because that's the one i selected but if i double click on this bar i can also change the color say i don't like that color i want it to be green say okay now that's gone green and then let's say i don't want this to be yellow i want it to be red okay so you can actually change change the actual color schemes green and red should not be seen that's not a great color match but that, that's what i'm talking about at the moment now if i double click on the red one again and you've still got these options across the top and image you may put an image in there so if i put um marshall blucher in there and he's tiled so let's have a look what that looks like I see his face there. It looks a bit scary, that does. If I put that as stretched, let's see what that looks like. Stretched. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't work. Let's go back to tiled. Tiled in this, in this example is, is a better option. You've got other features here that you can play around with to see if you get a better image. It's in the center there. You've got left, center, all these different options. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Click OK to that. So you would then probably put pictures in, in the other ones. Now this background photograph is a bit too prominent. So what you can do, if I double click on it again, double click, go on to this tab at the top, transparency, and then maybe play around with the transparency of that, just fade it out a little bit. Quite a lot actually, come in, see what that looks like, come down to 30%. So that's faded it out, made it, less prominent probably need to go a bit further down let's try 20 percent i'll just type it rather than going down on that okay yeah that's not bad and if i double click on the legend the legend's not very visible so what i'm going to do there is just put a color on the back back of that legend so it stands out let's have a look at that yeah so that's just make it makes it a bit more prominent same with these the transparency on this is if I go down to 10%, what's that going to look like? Yeah, it's not really fading it much more than that, to be honest. It's fading it a little bit. But you've got the option of double clicking on the series and um, doing the same sort of thing. Uh, I've got the access here. You've got different options, position, line, label. That's the, you can put the thing at a different angle if you want. Number style, font, font effects. All of these down the bottom there. I'm not going to change any of those. So that's how you create a chart in Writer. And if you need to go and change the data, you're back into this and change the values. And then the, the chart will react to that. I'll close that off. If you go back into the actual chart type, you can change the chart type if you need to. Normally, you would do this at the beginning before you actually change the data. You'd get the type of chart that you wanted. I'm going to leave that as it is. Now, if you want to bring a chart from calc into here just copy and paste it in let me just get rid of this one delete that one off you can just go into the chart you want so i've got this one in calc i'll just copy that same sort of features really and come into this one and just paste that in resize resize it slightly and there you go it's already done all the the little pictures inside there this is faded out in the background you can see it quite clearly it's it's up to you how you do it whether you do it in writer or whether you do it in calc and then copy and paste it in creating a chart is quite an easy process in LibreOffice. so that's all i want to talk about in this little video so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one